So what about, why, why do we use databases? What's the value of a database? Why, why do we even want to consider adding data to a database? Well, pretty much any system out there where, that you use have a database behind the scenes because we need to persist our data. Think of it as a way we need to keep the data safe somewhere so we can pull it out later when we need it again. That's why we use a database. So I just made this small video because I want you guys to understand that we are persisting data somewhere in a system so we can grab it again. So we are persisting the data to store it and then later on when we open our Facebook or we open our uh, Twitter or whatever, we still have like user information about us because it's stored there. The data is stored safely inside a database. We just need to figure out how to get the data back from the database and how to send the data into the database. And that's why we need to talk about different types of databases like relational databases versus document-based databases. And that's also where we need to figure out how to pull out the data using systems like the entity framework, like the Mongoose, and add another layer of REST API to actually send that data to somebody in the world who wants to use that data. But Databases are here for us to store data that we can then pull out later and there's a huge talk about databases later if you want to. We can start really diving into the value of making good persistent databases that can be used properly. But this is not for those lessons that we're going to do now. It's not for this series. So just right now databases are there to store data and then pull it out later. That's the goal. See you in the next lesson where we'll start talking about the difference between these two types of databases. Have fun.